five things you should know before buying an electronic drum set for the first time. That's coming up. What's up? Justin here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things electronic drum related, so thanks for stopping by. There are a bunch of people that watch this channel. They've never bought an electronic drum set before. They're kind of looking at reviews and searching on eBay and Amazon and Musician's Friend and all that stuff. And they're not really quite sure if electronic drum sets are for them. Now, I'm just going to keep it real in this video. I'm going to cut out all the fluff and stuff and tell you what's really going to happen if you buy an electronic drum set. The first thing you need to worry about is that your electronic drum set is only only as good as the audio source you're listening to it out of. So for example, let's say you bought a keyboard and you spent two grand on this thing. You got a really, really nice keyboard. Sounds amazing. You know, all the professionals are using it, but you forgot to, you know, buy a keyboard amp and you get it in the mail and you're like, oh crap, the only thing I have in the house is a pair of $10 earbuds. And you listen to it through your $10 earbuds and you're like, man, this $2,000 keyboard sounds like crap. It's not really the keyboard's fault. It's the fact that you're using $10 earbuds. So if you're shopping for an electronic drum set and you have a budget of 1,500 bucks, remember you gotta buy an amp or you have to buy headphones. I recommend headphones because they block out the sound of you hitting the pads. That's just me. Some people really love drum amps. Whatever it is, decide on what audio source you need. You need to include that in your budget. Also remember, um, you'll probably need a drum throne if you don't have one already. You'll probably need drumsticks. You'll need a kick drum pedal. And if you're buying a mid-tier electronic drum set, remember you'll have to buy that hi-hat stand because a lot of times they don't include that. I just don't want you to be surprised when you get it in the mail and you realize you have nothing to sit on, you don't have a kick drum pedal, so you can't use the kick drum pad. You don't have drumsticks. You know, you don't have any of these necessary things. You don't have anything to listen to it through. Uh, this is another reason why I recommend use drums because a lot of times people will bundle in all those extras and you'll get everything for a thousand bucks. So that's one of the reasons why buying used is a great idea as well. All right, let's go on to number two. I actually made an entire video on this. If you want to see it, I'll link it down below. Demos overhype everything. Whatever your price point, you start watching these official demos from Roland, from Alesis, from Yamaha, from Cat Percussion, and there's the guy drumming. He's in a warehouse. The fog rolls in. There are lasers everywhere. And your mind is blown. It sounds amazing. It looks amazing. But then you get it in the mail and you put it all together. You realize it doesn't sound quite as cool. And it doesn't look quite as cool because there's no fog and lasers. So just realize you might be slightly underwhelmed when you finally get it in the mail. It's not going to be quite as good as the demo suggests it will. And this is the same with all of life. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for an electronic drum set. The third thing you need to keep in mind if you're shopping for an electronic drum set is that you need to shop for your needs, not what looks the coolest or what looks the best or what sounds the best. You need to shop for your particular situation. So for example, if you're going to play live with this drum set and it's gonna be thrown around in the back of a trailer or the back of your car and it's gonna be you know in high stress situations where the gear has to work you're gonna to have to spend the extra money you're gonna to have to spend real money on that electronic drum set I keep throwing crap at high-end electronic drum sets even though I bought one myself you know rolling prices are way overpriced but what I can say is that their gear works for a long time and it sounds better than the majority of other stuff out there so you're gonna be forced to spend a lot of money if you're going to be playing live with this drum set. On the other hand, there are a lot of guys that are not gonna be playing live with this three times a week. They're just gonna be playing this drum set twice a week and that's it. They're just, they're just buying a drum set for fun. Don't go spend two grand on a drum set if you're just gonna buy it for fun unless you have that kind of money lying around. Just go buy something slightly more disposable that might not you know, last for a decade, but you don't care. You're buying this to have fun. You're playing for an hour or once or twice a week. You don't need to worry about that sort of stuff. Just keep in mind what you're actually gonna end up using it for. Number four, an important thing to keep in mind if you're buying an electronic drum set is that electronic drum sets aren't this magical silent thing that you think they are. Just because you know it's rubber and it's mesh and all that stuff doesn't mean it's silent at all. In the end, you're still hitting something with a stick. I mean, that is nowhere near silent. You know, it's, it's rubber, it's going to make noise. If we look at something like mesh pads, that's where the majority of the volume comes from when you actually hit the, the edge of the rim. Now there are ways to make your electronic drum sets a little bit quieter. I'll leave a link to my video down in the description below on how to make your electronic drum set quieter, but none of that stuff will work miracles. Electronic drums are much quieter than acoustic drums 
but they're not silent. So until the year 2050, when we're playing on invisible drums made out of force fields, until that happens, electronic drums will make noise. Keep that in mind. People will still be able to hear you, it just won't be as annoying because it'll be quieter. All right, let's move on to number five. Electronic drum sets aren't for everybody. I, I mean, I've just found this in real life. They work for me, I really enjoy playing electronic drums, but for some guys, it just, it doesn't jive with their mentality of what a drum set is. And for some people, electronic drum sets just do not work for them and they're just acoustic drum guys. And that's fine. I'm an acoustic and an electronic drum guy. I can use them both and enjoy them both. But some guys, they're just like this, you know, acoustic drums only purist drummer. And if you're one of those guys, then don't waste a thousand bucks on something that you're not actually going to enjoy. As a correlation, I know someone who hates keyboards. She only plays upright pianos, baby grand pianos, grand pianos. She thinks that keyboards are this fake trash thing and she only plays it when she has to. In best case scenario, she always plays a grand piano. Obviously, a lot of piano players, they prefer piano, but they don't have this righteous rage against keyboards or anything. All I'm trying to say is if you're one of those guys that just does not like electronic drums, but you're being forced to buy an electronic drum set, maybe just skip buying the electronic drum set and go buy a practice pad because literally you're gonna end up selling that $1,000 electronic drum set on eBay later on for 600 bucks and you're gonna lose all that money. On the other hand, if you're kind of on the fence about electronic drums where you really just don't like them in general, but you have to buy one, but you're kind of okay with it, you might be one of those guys that needs to spend a little bit more money to get the nicer electronic drum stuff. Because there is a big jump between a $500 trash electronic drum set all the way up to the nicer stuff. You might benefit from spending more money to get the nicer stuff. Because I've spent the money to get a nice quality electronic drum set, the one behind me, um, I'm okay with playing electronic drums. And I still play acoustic drums. In fact, I'm about to go play an acoustic drum set live on Sunday at a church. So. You know, it doesn't matter. You can play both acoustic and electric, but these are things to keep in mind when you're shopping for an electronic drum set. If you wanna see more videos like this, I've got about 250 of them on my channel. Go check them out, subscribe. I will see you guys in a few.